Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin also known as Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters is an interactive shooting dark ride attraction located in the Tomorrowland area of Disney theme parks. Designed by Walt Disney Imagineering and inspired by Disney Pixar's Toy Story franchise, the attraction combines a carnival game and a third-generation Omnimover system. The attraction first opened at Magic Kingdom on November 3, 1998. Subsequent versions can be found at Tokyo Disneyland, Disneyland, Disneyland Park in Paris, and Shanghai Disneyland. Although each ride may have a different name, all share the same major plot and characters. Prior to September 2017, Hong Kong Disneyland had the ride Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, but it is now the only Disneyland-type theme park that does not currently include a variation of the attraction. Plot <laughs> <laughs> The backstory of the ride revolves around the attempts of evil Emperor Zerg voiced by Frank Welker in the Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin Attraction and Andrew Stanton in the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters Attraction to steal the batteries known as crystallic fusion cells used to power the space vehicles of the Little Green Men voiced by Jeff Pigeon and Debbie Derryberry. Participants are Star Command raw recruits sent to defeat Zerg. The queue area is awash in the chartreuse, white, and bright blue hues of Buzz Lightyear himself voiced by Pat Fraley, who does voice for all Buzz Lightyear attractions. Since Buzz Lightyear is a toy, the attraction is cleverly scaled to give the illusion that one has just been reduced to the size of an action figure, featuring such detail as giant, exposed Phillips screw heads and an explanation of the interactive phase of the ride that resembles a toy's instruction sheet, only on a gigantic scale. An audio animatronic Buzz Lightyear figure and giant etch a sketch Disneyland and or Viewmaster Disney World provide explanation of the mission to destroy Zerg's secret weapon with your blasters. While his body is audio animatronic, Buzz's face is actually a screen with a projection of computer animation, allowing better lip sync and more expressive features, making him look like a more realistic representation of the character from the films. Topic. Technical aspects Astro Blasters and Space Ranger Spin are equal parts shooting gallery and dark ride. Visitors board an Omnimover space vehicle featuring two laser pistols and a joystick. The pistols are used to shoot laser beams at targets of varying point values. Targets that are hit while lit up will produce much higher scores. A digital readout on the dashboard shows the player's score. The joystick allows full 360-degree rotation of the vehicle to assist in aiming. During the ride, if the ride slows down or completely stops this is a result of either a handicapped guest or a ride breakdown during the ride, this allows for bonus points. As the pistols and targets do not turn off. There are four different shaped targets which are worth different numbers of points, round 100 points, square 1000 points, diamond 5000 points, and triangle 10,000 points. At the conclusion of the ride, the digital score flashes L1-L7 displaying the ranking or level achieved for the below scores. Level 1 Star Cadet, 0 1000 Level 2 Space Scout, 1001-10,000 Level 3 Ranger First Class, 1001-100,000 Level 4 Planetary Pilot, 100,001-300,000 Level 5 Space Ace, 300,001-600,000 Level 6 Cosmic Commando, 600,001-999,998 Level 7 Galactic Hero, 999,999 plus at one point in the attraction, each person is photographed during game play and has the option of sending a free electronic postcard via email at the exit queue. 
The photos include the player's score. If the score is in the top 100 highest of the day, the player's ranking is also included in the photo. The top 10 players' scores are shown on the scoreboard at the exit queue, along with three letters that the person chooses to identify themselves. The top person gets their face posted on the screen. The Disneyland version once featured at home play tied directly to the attraction itself via the Internet, however, this is disabled. The installation at the Magic Kingdom utilizes an existing ride system by Aero Development, originally constructed in 1972 for If You Had Wings. The remaining installations use an Omnimover system by Sansei Yusoki. History Topic: <inaudible> 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 Magic Kingdom The layout and systems of the ride date all the way back to 1972. This space was originally home to If You Had Wings, an aviation-themed ride sponsored by Eastern Airlines. Eastern Airlines dropped sponsorship of the ride for financial reasons in early June 1987. All Eastern themes were moved, and the ride was renamed If You Could Fly. If You Could Fly was closed down in January 1989. The installation of Space Ranger Spin also impacted the Tomorrowland Transit Authority PeopleMover, which runs through the South Show Building. The Tomorrowland Transit Authority, or TTA as it is often called for short, had opened in 1975 as the Wedway PeopleMover. At that time, If You Had Wings was the attraction occupying the South Show Building. Three diorama windows were also positioned on the track, two on the right and one of the left. These allowed the Mexico, Jamaica, and Trinidad scenes to be visible to riders on the Tomorrowland Transit Authority in such a way as to hide all projectors, lights and other show support equipment. The diorama windows were altered once more when If You Had Wings was transformed into Delta Dream Flight. This was done because the windows no longer correctly lined up with show scenes. The first window was replaced with backlit panels depicting the ride's barnstormer scene. Window 2 looked into the Parisian excursion scene, from a viewpoint which heavily distorted the tableau's forced perspective. The third window would have had TTA riders looking directly into an extremely bright light and so was completely obscured with plywood and black fabric. When the ride transitioned yet again into the current attraction of Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin in 1998, the first window was refitted with the diorama of the hair salon, and the second left open to look into the new attraction, though concern was expressed over the fact that this view allows TTA riders to look directly into banks of high-powered blacklights. At one point during Space Ranger Spin, it is possible to catch a glimpse of the TTA passing through the building. Disneyland Like the Magic Kingdom version at Walt Disney World, it uses infrastructure from previous attractions. Its show building originally housed the Circle Vision 360 Degrees Theater. In 1997, as part of a major makeover of Tomorrowland, the Circle Vision Theater was removed and the space became part of the queue for the now infamous Rocket Rods. The Rocket Rods, which were prone to breakdowns, ran from 1998 to 2000. This space was then unused until 2005, when Astro Blasters opened. Topic Q Topic Magic Kingdom The Q of the ride shows different pictures of Buzz Lightyear and the little green men. It also shows the battery cells and pipes plugging into Star Command. Guests then pass the Buzz Lightyear animatronic this version of the animatronic has his wings open and is not holding anything. 
After listening to what he has to say, guests then leave that room and board the XP-37. Attached to them are ion laser cannons and a joystick to spin the cart. Disneyland Astro Blasters has a lot more dialogue than Space Ranger Spin did. This ride's cue as well as the other Astro Blasters, Laser Blast includes a walkie-talkie with Buzz Lightyear on it reading his wrist communication device. The speakers provide backstory to the ride and how Zerg is attacking Green Planet, home of the Little Green Men. It also includes a picture of Zerg as wanted criminal number one. It has pictures of the Green Squadron leaving to attack. It also has posters describing the blasters and the XP-40 Star Cruiser. In the Fast Pass line, there is a picture of Buzz Lightyear shooting a purple, green and orange colored alien. It also shows Lightyear leading a team of Space Rangers as well as making a cameo for Princess Mira Nova from the show Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, Blosk. The guests enter the briefing room to see Buzz Lightyear. This animatronic has no wings out and is holding an Astro Blaster. The Astro Blaster has a timer for when Buzz does his talking. As he says his line about finding Zerg's robot, the Astro Blaster lights up and blasts its laser at the etch a sketch wiping off the picture of Zerg. However in Paris, the laser can't keep up with the timer and the laser shines a little early, the animatronic gives a one-minute speech before a red alarm goes off signaling for the line to move along. The guest proceed down a long corridor seeing the LGNS testing the blasters. The guests then board the Star Cruiser. Topic. Shanghai Disneyland. The queue has the look of a Star Tours type attraction and is the longest indoor queue for all of the versions of the attraction. It looks like the International Space Station. The walls are covered with pictures of Buzz Lightyear himself. Video monitors are displayed on some of those walls. The monitors play videos of the LGNS, and Zerg with his new weapon. Buzz Lightyear will also appear on the screen fighting the robots. Most of the videos show the Star Command spaceship. Each ship has a red and green blaster on each side. After the queue, guests will walk into the room where the space cruisers are. Topic. Attraction Topic. Magic Kingdom The Magic Kingdom's version of the ride, known as Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin, is the first Buzz Lightyear attraction, and the third Omnimover ride to operate in Tomorrowland's South Show Building. Unlike other versions of the attraction, Magic Kingdom's version features laser guns that are stationary. The ride begins when the cart enters a room with four blue-colored astronauts holding guns aimed at a disco ball. The ride then enters a robot attack scene. An orange robot called the Box-O-Bot, a blue and purple robot called the Giganto-Bot, a green robot called the Battery-Bot, and a Dog-Bot are all present in this scene. The ride then slopes down a short hill into Planet Z. Here guests encounter many aliens including space chickens, space spiders, and others. There is also a volcano that is shooting green goo. The guests then enter Zerg's fortress where they see a battery delivery. Zerg is in his spaceship, which he calls his Spiderbot. In the next room the aliens show the guests that Zerg has escaped. The next room is the projection tunnel and in it Zerg is shoots at the guests. The final room shows Buzz Lightyear fighting with Zerg in the now-destroyed Spiderbot. The little green men help Buzz tear it apart. Then the unload area shows Buzz Lightyear thanking the guests while holding Zerg in the claw. Guests will then exit the ride into store command where they can purchase a photo of themselves on the ride.
Mattel, having just transferred its sponsorship from the It's a Small World attraction thus in turn making that attraction sponsorless in nearby Fantasyland originally sponsored the Walt Disney World attraction from its opening to 1999 when all references to Mattel were removed from the attraction. The Disney World version has been without sponsorship ever since. Disneyland Disneyland's version of the ride is called Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. A key difference between this ride and its counterpart at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom is that its laser guns can be removed from their mounts to allow for more accurate shooting similar to Men in Black, Alien Attack. The laser guns at Space Ranger Spin at Magic Kingdom cannot be removed from their mounts and have limited movement. The ride begins in the robot attack scene with the box Obot, the Gigantobot, who have changed positions and coloring as in WDW's version. The box Obot was neon orange and was on the left side of the track, and the Gigantobot was dark blue and purple and was on the right side of the track. Now Box Obot is just orange and is on the right, and the Gigantobot has a red body and red ears. The Dogbot, who has a lighter yellow, and the Battery Bot, who is now red and has a target on his nose. This variation is in Paris and in California, while a similar version with a target on his forehead is in Tokyo and Hong Kong, are all present during this scene. There is also a mini Space Ranger in what looks like a X Wing. The guests enter Zerg's Dreadnought down a hallway shooting batteries until you reach his laboratory. Zerg is shooting his Zergatronic Ion Blaster. He dubbed it this in Blosk. He is standing behind his now damaged Spiderbot. Guests are about to transition into the next room while robots are being electrocuted trying to land the Dreadnought. The guests enter Planet Z in the France version of the ride Buzz Lightyear says Attention Space Rangers, you've landed on Planet Z, be ready for anything. Guests can shoot aliens including a call back to the pterodactyl that belongs to Sid Phillips in the first Toy Story film. Before leaving Planet Z, Zerg is laughing in when he thinks he has triumph. He is about to shoot Green Planet. Guests then enter a light tunnel with Zs around it. The next room is similar to Space Ranger Spin. Buzz Lightyear is using his Astro Blaster to take down Zerg's Spiderbot. The Green Squadron are helping Buzz take down the ship. The final room has the LGNS signing the receipt to return Zerg to Al's Toys Barn. Zerg promises revenge as the Green Squadron thank the guests. Buzz Lightyear then thanks the guests. He tells them to put the blasters where they belong and to check the scoreboard. Guests exit the ride to Little Green Men's Store Command. Topic: <laughs> Hong Kong Disneyland and Tokyo Disneyland. At Hong Kong Disneyland, the ride is also called Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters and is a highly identical clone of the Tokyo version of the ride minus the queue. The Tokyo version is the original version of the ride and all of the ride's audio is in Japanese. In Hong Kong however, the entire ride is in English and is only in Chinese for safety rules. Those two versions also featured a floating Planet Z outside of the spaceship. Their version's cruisers are called XP-38. On March 3, 2017, Disney announced that the ride will be closing and would be replaced with an Ant-Man-themed attraction titled Ant-Man and the Wasp, Nano Battle, making this to be the second Marvel-themed ride at Hong Kong Disneyland. The ride closed on August 31, 2017. However, Tokyo Disneyland's version is still operating today. Topic: <inaudible> Disneyland Paris. At Disneyland Paris, Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast replaced the Circle Vision 360 degrees production Le Visionarium, which closed in 2004. 
This version of the ride is much like the Disneyland version, Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, except for the presence of a tribute to Le Visionarium. When you are in the robot attack scene at the beginning, if you look beneath the left arm of the box Obot, you might be able to see Nine Eye, the circumvisual photodroid from Le Visionarium, hiding there. However, it is an easy to miss tribute. In the Paris version of the ride, the dialogue is the same but translated into French as well as English. In the queue, the Buzz Lightyear animatronic speaks English, as well as French for those who speak French, and don't understand English. Some areas of the ride provide both dialogues, but in the scene where Zerg's weapon is half destroyed, it switches from English to French in a six-dialogue loop as it does in the California version of the ride. This ride's cruiser is called the XP-41 calling back to the California version. This is also the version with the second longest indoor queue. <laughs> Shanghai Disneyland The most recent version of this attraction is called Buzz Lightyear Planet Rescue. It is more heavily based on the opening sequence of Toy Story 2, taking place on the planet where Zerg has his lair set up, and featuring the same style of robots as in the film. The ride begins on a planet where the little green men are helping guests take down the Zerg bots. As well as Buzz being there using his laser. He is later seen fighting two of the robotic giants. Afterwards, the vehicles move into a mine where Zerg has been digging to get his weapon to fire at the planet. He sets up more robots as Buzz struggles to stop the evil Emperor's mining. After a while, Zerg is defeated and swears he will get revenge. On your way out like all the attractions, you see a scoreboard with the different scores from level 1 to 7. Topic home release and Disney Quest In 2005, the Walt Disney Company premiered a home version of the ride in the form of an Internet video game that allows users to connect with guests at the parks. The scores of each guest from the Dark Ride are tallied with the Internet Gamer and increase the points won. There was also an attraction at Walt Disney World Resort's Disney Quest with the name Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, where players rode and controlled cars while shooting balls at each other. Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin was named the 2004 Disney Magazine Reader's Choice Award winner for Best Magic Kingdom Park Attraction for Young Kids. Topic Gallery. See also Magic Kingdom Attraction and Entertainment History List of current Disneyland attractions Tokyo Disneyland Attraction and Entertainment History Toy Story Midway Mania External links Disneyland official website Magic Kingdom official website Tokyo Disneyland official website Disneyland Paris official website Shanghai Disneyland official website